This video is to show how to dismantle a Suzu 4JA1 transmission. The first step is to remove the front case cover. Next is to remove the input shaft bearing snap ring. Remove gear shift lever base. Remove reverse switch. Next is to remove speed sensor. Now disconnect the extension housing from the transmission case. Remove the main shaft snap ring to pull out the speedometer drive gear. Keep the shaft key in a secure place. Now remove the output shaft bearing. Remove the split thrust plate. Remove the fifth thrust washer and the thrust washer ball. Don't forget to keep the thrust washer ball in a secure place. Now remove the counter gear lock nut to remove the fifth counter gear.
Now pull out the reverse counter gear. And now you can remove the fifth gear and the synchronizer ring with the split cage needle bearing. Remove the Deaton case cover. Now pull out the Deaton spring. Now remove all the gear shift fork pin. Unlock the hub nut to pull out the reverse gear and fifth gear hub. Now pull out the fifth reverse hub and the engaging sleeve together with the shift fork at a time. Now change the position of the first second gear shift trail, turning 45 degrees to left and now you can pull out the third fourth gear shift trail. And now the last to pull out, the first second gear shift trail. Next is to remove the Deaton ball. And now remove the plunger. And this gearbox is a type of plunger interlocking mechanism that prevents two gears from engaging at a time. The movement of one shaft causes the plunger balls to lock other shaft in a neutral position. Now remove the reverse gear. And next is the reverse counter gear. Proceed to disconnect the main shaft and the counter gear shaft from the intermediate plate. Use a plier to unlock the bearing circlip. When bearing circlip is released, then hit the main shaft pushing out from the intermediate plate. Slightly hit the counter gear and the main shaft till comes out together. Release the bearing circlip. Now remove the counter gear bearing from intermediate plate. Disconnect the input shaft with the fourth gear assembly. Remove circlip ring to pull out the third and fourth. Synchronizer gear hub and synchronizer gear sleeve. Now pull out gear number three with the synchronizer ring. Remove input shaft bearing using a press machine. 
Pull out the first and second synchronizer hub and synchronizer sleeve at a time. Careful for the shaft build-in gear stopper. Make sure it is free and does not block any surface on the lower side. The output shaft must be on top where the force will apply. Remove intermediate bearing and the thrust washer. Next is gear number one with the synchronizer ring. Gear number 1 and 2, synchronizer gear hub and the synchronizer gear sleeve. And this is gear number 2 with synchronizer ring. Hope this video will help. Please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.